Ancient cavemen discovered that eating uncooked leftover squirrel wasn't always a good idea. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that germs are bad for you, but are germs always bad? Getting sick early in life helps you have a stronger immune system later and may lower the risk of allergies and autoimmune diseases. Vaccines are made of germ parts designed to trick the immune system into revving up its defenses. Bacteria were first proven to be the cause of disease in 1905. Mankind's clever response to this discovery was the development of antibiotics several years later. Along the way, some really smart scientists figured out that poop contains a lot of bacteria, and I mean lots. 10 to 100 trillion bacterial cells per human. Some scientists believe that's more than 10 times the normal number of human cells in the body, but I'm not sure anybody truly counted. So with so much bacteria inside of us, why don't we get sick? The intestines are designed to absorb only good stuff like cheese puffs and not bacteria. So why is the bacteria there? Bacteria in the gut help us process vitamins and minerals and also aid in regulating the immune system. There are over 500 different species of bacteria in there. Occasionally, when we get sick, bad bacteria overwhelm the good bacteria, creating problems like diarrhea. Also, when we take antibiotics for an ear infection, we actually kill off a lot of the good bacteria in the colon, also creating the potential for problems. So what happens if you put good bacteria in the colon? Welcome to the world of probiotics. It seems logical that eating good bacteria will populate the colon with good life forms. This is where we get the term probiotic. The challenge lies in deciding which probiotic bacteria is best and how much will survive the process of digestion. So you would like to try eating some good bacteria. How do you do it? You can eat some dirt. There's lots of bacteria in dirt. It just may not be good bacteria. How about yogurt? Yogurt is a good choice. It is inexpensive, healthy, and full of kajillions of good bacteria. Probiotics, antibiotics, we humans sometimes have a hard time making up our minds. For those of you interested in controlling a massive population of life forms, taking a probiotic supplement may be an interesting and healthy experiment. Remember to all you sofa doctors out there, diagnosing or treating anyone based on internet videos is generally a bad idea.